A poet is someone who can pour light into a cup, then raise it to nourish your beautiful parched holy mouth. In this video I will share with you a poem that is intended to pour some sweetness into your beautiful parched mouth. And this is one of a series of videos that shares the power of poetry to invite an opening of the heart to a dimension that heals and allows for the revelation of who you are beyond the limitation of the separate sense of self that you think you are. You are, in fact, a unique expression of love in form. And this is not simply more information. It needs to be known as a living experience. Such invitations to this living experience is the work of the true poet. And this writer and storyteller uses the power of poetry and storytelling together with a map of personal spiritual development to guide you into the fullness of your wild and precious life. The map is called The Way of Chakra Healing. This map shows you the real way in which to find purpose, passion and prosperity. And this is your true inheritance. The fullness of this map of personal and spiritual development can be considered the movement from the personal sense of I am to the revelation of the expression of being the flow of the universal I am. Here is a poem by Juan Roman Jemez, translated by Robert Bly. And this reading is taken from the poetry anthology entitled The Rag and Bone Shop of the Heart. The title of this poem is I Am Not I. I am not I. I am this one. Walking beside me who I do not see. Whom at times I manage to visit. But other times forget. The one who remains silent when I talk, the one who forgives, sweet, when I hate. The one who takes a walk when I am indoors, the one who will remain standing when I die, the one who will remain standing when I die. How often is it that you visit the one who will remain standing when you die to the form of the body you refer to as I am? Or are you like most of us who consciously and unconsciously chant the mantra I am this or I am that and for the most of the time forget that we are the expression of love's purpose and formed for such purpose. Your friends and family might consider you strange if you were to announce that I am not I, so it is best to keep this information to yourself. Today everyone wants to be recognised as being somebody. This is the reason why we have our addiction to the cult of celebrity. No one wants to be a not I. No one wants to be a nobody. The individual, however, who learns to visit the nobody experience has everything available to them. This does not mean that you disappear in any physical sense, but it does mean that your sense of who you are 
is not simply limited to the time-bound experience you refer to as me, myself, I. The way of chakra healing is a journey into the surrender to the one who remains standing when you die. This is the one who you truly are, but forget. This is the one you are lucky if you get to visit, but it is the one you do not see. However, there will come a time when you will see this invisible one, but that seeing will not be with the physical eyes. It is a seeing that will announce you as a seer and as someone who has a real vision for life arising from the seeing of the one life. The way of chakra healing will allow you to connect to the one who forgives, the one who is sweet. The ability to forgive oneself and others is an essential ability to be cultivated on the path of personal and spiritual development. Forgiveness is the gift you gift to yourself. It releases you from the prison that you and the other are separate. It invites you to embrace the power of the commandment to love your neighbour as yourself. Because in the realisation of the one who remains standing when you die, you reveal that you and your neighbour are simply different expressions of the totality of love and that each of you is moving within a different form. The seven chakra system moves you from the limitation of yourself as the personal sense of I am to the fullness of the experience of love that says and lives a paradoxical life. This is the one who is able to say, I am, but I am not. And this has to be lived. This experience cannot be understood by a logic alone. You have, in the words of the mystic poet Rumi, to risk trading logic for bewilderment. And in connecting to the wild aliveness that you are, you begin to have visitations from the one who walks beside you and within you. You allow the one life to be, to be lived through you. So to learn more about becoming one who lives as the one who remain standing when the form of the body called I am dies, visit the website thewayofchakrahealing.com or you can subscribe to my, my YouTube channel Tony Cookson spelt C-U-C-K-S-O-N for more videos on personal development and beyond. So, why not claim your true inheritance? Claim your birthright as one who is of good standing. One who is rooted to the earth but who can touch the sky. And learn to abide in the power of the sound of silence within that allows you true communion. This allows you the knowing that the one who walks beside you who you truly are, is the one who informs you through the power of universal love. This is Tony Cookson, writer and storyteller, signing off until my next invitation to visiting the one you truly are. And I wish you well, I wish you happiness, and I wish you freedom from suffering. And thank you. Thank you for listening.